hey guys so you already know from the title we doing a nail tutorial all right and i'm gonna show you guys how i kind of recreated this style but less less loud okay so before i even begin i had to make the teddy bears so i had to well i could have just used regular gel top coat nail polish but at the time i wasn't thinking like that so i do use this this is a um a sculpting gel from young nails yeah so i do use that and um i bought these stencils from amazon for like 11 dollars. nothing crazy but at the time i could not find these teddy bears anywhere um they were mainly in the uk i didn't feel like paying for shipping so i was like you know what your girl can make these and i did all right and i did let me show you what they look like okay so i took them out and you know this is a silicone stencil i'm trying to like get a nice little background so you guys can really like see so i did two types of bears there was i bought two types of stencils so there's like the little chubby round one and then there's the other one this one so you guys are going to see which one i ended up choosing in the end all right um all right so we're gonna get into it so first i'm just pushing my um cuticles back a bit this avoids lifting and then I'm going to go around my nail and remove the natural, you know, shine from it because that's what helps acrylic stick to your nail. This is a crucial step. All right. So I'm just doing that and then I'm going to go back around with my cuticle around my cuticle area and this also makes sure there is no lifting when it comes to putting down this acrylic. All right. So, um, yeah, do these steps and your nails will never lift, baby. All right, so I'm gonna put some, um, I think it was acetone or it wasn't acetone, it was alcohol. So I just took all the dust off with a dust wipe and now I'm putting some primer on top. Also, you guessed it, to prevent lifting, all right? So I typically do my nails with a um, nail sculptor because this is how I learned how to do my own nails. It is actually the hardest method but i'm very comfortable with it for the most part and um i don't know it's just faster to me so guys i am um just basically whenever someone or you use a nail sculptor you're just going to basically create a nail tip so i am just doing that so i'm just pushing the acrylic up to the tip of my nail and then i'm pulling it out in the shape that i want it to be okay so um basically i'm just going to do that for all my nails most times i'm using colored acrylic this time i use clear and i will definitely i'm gonna keep it a hundred all right this was a challenge for me i was like really frustrated because when you're using colored acrylic you can really see the dimension of the nail with clear it's kind of like an illusion you think you're tripping sometimes and you're not you gotta like double triple check to make sure it's not too thick so i do have to get more comfortable with using nail forms in this way but for the most part i still love them but um my following youtube video once i take these nails off completely will have me um using nail tips because the next design i want to do um, I have a feeling I'm just not gonna really want to do all of this and I need my nail to be super clear because it's gonna be a clear tip and um, Yeah, it's gonna be some some nail art on top of a nail tip. So I kind of need the um I just I feel like using a nail form would just complicate things So I'm not gonna do that for my next next nail video because I have another one that I'm going to release at the same time as this and yeah, so you know if you're not subscribed, do that because my nail videos are fire. I'm self-taught. I am not um, a licensed nail tech. I don't really know if that's something to brag about, but considering my skill level, babe, okay, I'm, I'm doing pretty well to not be licensed yet. I might get licensed. I don't really know. Probably, probably not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still deciding. But anyways, I'm just going to keep building this nail up. All right. Enough about me. We just gonna watch and see. I don't even know what I'm talking about today in this voiceover. I 
all right so i was playing around but for people that are just watching or i don't really know if they really are trying to do their own nails i basically built the tip then i went to the cuticle area built up the cuticle area and the apex area which is the area that you need to focus on because if your nail break and you didn't build up that apex you're gonna be crying you're gonna be bleeding and you're gonna be hurt so yes definitely definitely if you don't know what that is look into it if you're doing your own nails but if you're not and you're just here to watch you know continue to enjoy babes so i'm just still building up the nail because these nails are pretty long and um yeah i i did learn from past experiences that when you are doing your own acrylic nails you want them to be the thickness of a credit card i literally say this in all of my videos because it is so important to know and do okay and when you're in a nail salon and they're trying to give you those chunky chunky nails you better tell them to stop and ask them where they went to school because they're not supposed to do that period it don't matter the length of the nail there's no reason why the tip of your nail should be super chunky like y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about like the thickness of a dm flip-flop anybody had time for that all right so definitely check the nail text because these are your fingers and if it breaks and it hurts you're gonna really really be pissed okay so you know i'm gonna just keep doing the same thing over and over again and i know these nails are really long yeah probably like what the hell why just why and it's because i'm over the top i'm extra i feel like you know you know it's about to get a little deep my nails are a work of art okay i work hard on them and i want them to stand out everywhere i go and them little short baby nails ain't gonna do it for me so i need a little length so people be like damn the nails long and then they're like oh any fire exactly that's what i'm trying to get even though i don't do other people's nails i just be like yeah i do youtube i do my nails on youtube you know you know you know because i'm kind of stingy with my craft but um yeah so i like my nails long and when i was at work i could only go to like if you guys can see the five marker so right now i'm going to six in length now i can go to five because you know i ain't working it no more i'm excited about that because i can do so much more with my nails now hence this set i was like fiending to be super creative this set would have never worked where i where i work at like i would have been destroying clothes i worked at zara by the way if you guys don't know and like these nails having a 3d teddy bear on a nail it would have been a showstopper for sure but i would have lost my mind and in all honesty i'm gonna really tell you guys about how these nails turned out because i know i'm just not releasing this video but i don't even have them on anymore and it's not because i did anything wrong it's just because um lifestyle purposes um it just it just got really complicated and once we get like deeper into the video i'll be able to explain so you guys can see at the same time but it's still a really fun set um diera was wearing something like this and i was like oh this is cool or whatever but she had way more 3d um nail designs on the nail and i thought it was cute it was a little extra for me okay but it works for her and her lifestyle but it wouldn't work for me because um it just wouldn't from wearing these this set now i'm like how the hell did this girl even survive with them nails on i don't understand it Yeah, I don't know. This is like super boring to me. When I was doing like nail art within the nail, it was way more fun to watch me like build up the nail. But now that it's clear, it's just like meh. 
but um I don't know this it's super exciting I just I just like it so much sometimes I wish I could go all the way to the edge of this nail form and just be real crazy scandalous with it but I don't know maybe one day I'll make it there but for right now I'm terrified I don't know they they just seem kind of long to me now I've slowly been making my nails longer and longer I started off at I think the four mark during quarantine I did a few videos and sets that were like super long those videos are no longer up sorry um, my skill was terrible I was giving out false information in those videos so I had to take them down to avoid anybody from mimicking me or hurting themselves so yeah your girl was in a video talking about nope you don't need primer it's gonna be fine knowing now I know damn well that's exactly how the nail is going to be lifting. It's going to be a waste of time. So I had to delete a lot of videos once I got a little more educated in the craft. You feel me? So, yeah. All right, so we on the pinky, and y'all know what that mean. I don't record both hands on this channel. Ain't nobody got time for that. Y'all would be bored to death. And I fumble around a lot because right now I'm using my um dominant hand to do all the work. But um, yeah, nah. Maybe one day if I get requests to see me do a whole video on my left hand, you guys will be able to see. But for now, it's a dub so um yeah my pinky is the last nail and then i'm going to come back to you guys and show you what both hands look like after um my application and that should be interesting and um yeah i was gonna TikTok these nails but i just couldn't it was too much it was too freaking much TikToking and recording for youtube will forever be a craft that i will have to like really figure out mainly because i use my phone to record once i get a camera maybe it'll be more likely then if tiktok is even around by then like your girl's in no rush to get a camera but um yeah it's like nearly impossible so especially since typically tiktok gets my left hand they get they get not going i mean they get the the sloppy the sloppy video and i mean it's one minute i ain't gonna put all my effort in for a minute Y'all got me messed up. So, um, yeah. But, I mean, if you guys want to check out my TikTok, you can. A lot of the times, if you don't really feel like watching this whole video, you can just pit stop there, see what I've been up to, and it'll give you a little glimpse into what's been happening. All 
all right here's the application all right don't don't play me all right i told you i was struggling i don't usually use clear typically it's a color and you know today this was a damn eye opener so ashamed so my thumb actually turned out to be the best nail of all and it's crazy because i started off doing my nail typically my left hand ends up being better because you know after working on my right hand i'm learning while i'm working on that on that hand and by the time i come to the left it gets better but in this case the opposite happened my nails got gradually worse and thicker as i went along and i don't know if it's because i really i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i ain't feel like doing this set i did not feel like doing this set i don't know why i just really was not in the mood to do my nails but i had to do other things i had to get this video out for you guys so you know i forced it and in the end shawty did the most and i tend to rush when i'm recording my nail videos and i always regret it but it's like it's like a bad habit because it takes me hours to do my own nails like four to six hours sometimes longer and that is really really like treacherous so if anything that will be the main reason why i end up going to nail school to cut down the time for me to do my own nails because hopefully i could just be able to do my nails in at least four hours i know doing it in one to two hours is unlikely because i'm doing both hands but if i could cut it down to you know four hours tops baby i'll be happy as hell so that's what i'm working on okay so right now i'm using the coarse drill bit from i mean yeah drill bit from young nails and my drill is from valentino nail beauty and not nail beauty valentino pure beauty i think something like that that's the name of it anyways it's valentino and this drill is a lifesaver it's the best drill ever i wouldn't have chose any other way and it got some studs on it it's a little bedazzled it's a little fancy and your girl is loving it all right so i do love the drill however i think i'm like eventually gonna end up ruining it because i keep getting dust kind of inside of it by accident i bought some things to keep it out but still isn't working so um i also bought i have this what is it this is a, another build drill bit. It's a safety drill bit from Young Nails as well. And I like these metal drill bits because they're not as wasteful as the, um, the disposable ones. And they just work way better. They get the job done. They take off nail polish easily. And that's what I'm here for. So these are my teddies, all right? I'm, these are all the teddies that I made. I made a whole bunch of different sizes. I used, I jumped between um, using Clear Sculptor by Young Nails and um, a top coat gel polish from Luxa Polish. And this is how they came out. I ended up liking the Luxa Polish ones better. I am going to put some base coat on i know in a lot of my videos i don't use base but i kind of suck at polishing honestly so um the base is gonna help like um you know fill in all those little dents that i may have missed from um filing and um yeah and also i'm using a matte top coat so i really want this top coat to be super even so yeah a base coat is super necessary um and it also helps the gel polish like stick to the nail better i don't really care about that as much because y'all know i only keep my nails on for a week so it really doesn't matter but unless i'm just doing a top coat which is what i'm usually doing then i don't use base but in this case, I decided to use it because, you know, I thought maybe the outcome would be better. And I think it did make a significant difference. Um, yeah, my jar is disgusting. Base coat is super sticky. If you know anything about gel polish, you know the base coat is the stickiest of them all. So I'm going to cure these nails for 120 seconds. I'm going to cure them twice. This came out really nice. You see that little white mark underneath? That's because my drill bit slipped under my nail. Yikes. okay guys so i am using lit the color is called lit from luxa polish all right all of my gel polishes come straight from luxa polish because 
that was my company of choice when I started off doing my nails and they are still holding it down for me so I definitely definitely love their polishes so I'm using um yeah the lit I'm just gonna put a top coat on well one coat on video on my nails but I do end up using three coats because for some odd reason it just was going on super thin and it could uh, it could definitely be me because like I said earlier I am not that great at polishing my nails I suck at it don't know when I got so bad at it but recently I have been ass okay for real it's kind of upsetting I think it's because um I've just been using um colored acrylic so yeah I kind of faded with that technique which you would think is very easy but when I'm polishing my own nails, it's hard for me to keep a steady hand and it's hard for me to keep my my hand from going too close up to my cuticle area. So that's usually my downfall and it's super aggravating, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so after the three top coats, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Like this, really pretty, really bright Barbie pink. Love it, okay? It reminds me of Nicki Minaj's mixtape Barbie, um, yeah, cover. And if you guys don't know, like, what the hell? I don't even know what to say, but that's what it's giving, all right? And I freaking love and adore it. So I'm gonna put, right now I'm putting on Velveteen Matte. My matte top coat also comes from Alexa Polish cause you yeah, know, I just told you, I only buy Alexa Polish nail polish. Okay, so I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Well, 120. And this is how it comes out. Ooh, babe, look at that. Really cute. So I'm using the Zule um, Bling Adhesive. Really, really strong glue, all right? Super strong. So I am putting the teddy bear on with one dot. I would suggest using more than a dot because, um, yeah, my teddy bears, two of them popped off in my sleep because I didn't put enough freaking glue on but i was just i didn't know what to do okay it's my first time using this glue um uh nail tech suggested it i tried it out typically i just let my um i just put whatever accessories i'm putting on on top of gel or whatever top coat i'm using and it usually works really well but for this specific um design that would have been complicated because if my hand would have slipped i would have ruined the top coat so i figured investing in a gel wouldn't kill and it actually might actually you know like help me out a bit so i was also spraying on mia's secret resin activator that is also good to buy it just helps it dry really fast and um yeah it helps it stick longer as well so um yeah i'm just gonna do that for all of my fingers uh if you're thinking about doing the set or getting the set do not put the goddamn teddy on your thumb all right you will regret it shawty was scratching i was scratching my foot up i was scratching listen put my pants on scratch my butt devastated and like not severely but it's just like aggravating because you're just like bro what the fuck why'd i do this so that's basically what was happening okay all right we all teddied up so now it's time to bling it out i was gonna do it simple like you know the design but i was looking at it and i was like this is boring so i had to add some life to it i added some studs and i liked it um 
it was very hard for me to keep these even a lot of them are uneven you'll see how crooked some of them came out and uh this j this gel what the hell this um glue is the truth so i didn't really have much time to fix it and i was also trying not to od with the glue because you know it's matte so the glue would show and make a shiny effect that i don't want because it's supposed to be matte so um yeah i was struggling so i'm just gonna randomly put them in whatever order i feel my heart desires don't usually do studs because i don't know I don't know why I don't usually do studs. Oh, it's because they be like pulling on my hair and stuff. I thought I was safe because I have braids. So I made sure to do my hair before I did this video, which is typically how I, you know, maneuver through life. So um, I'm going to put one stud at the top and then later I decide to go back and add more because um, I just wanted to add more. So typically when I'm doing my nails, I'm just like going with the flow, seeing how I feel, what you want to do. You want to add more, you want to like, you know, so typically I am inspired, but I don't try to like copy it to a T. I just try to get as close as possible because, um, a lot of the, the designs I show you guys are from really, 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 um, like skilled nail ticks okay so typically like when i show you guys inspired by or um redoing like these are from vets all right people that's been doing nails for years and i'm not on their level but of course i love a challenge so i still try to make myself do something that i'm not qualified for like why the hell only me All right, guys, how do you feel? How you like them? I love them. They're really cute. Um, I did have to take them off, though, because of my terrible stud, um, my gluing, you know, experience. I didn't do so hot with the glue. And um, also because they were just really hard to manage. I kept pulling my hair. It was just a lot. So for a look, for a video, for like a week, sure, cool, but not for longer than that. I hope you guys enjoy. Catch you later. Bye.